Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to create a hot foil stamp effect in Photoshop using either the foil textures you created in my latest Skillshare class, Metallic Magic, my Glitz and Glam kit if you've picked that up, or the free hot foil swirl texture that I gave away a few weeks ago. And please see the video description for links to all of those if you want to pick any of those up. We're going to be using this vector hipster badge that was created in a past tutorial so I'll leave a link on screen if you want to create this exact badge you can do so so we're just gonna grab the badge we're gonna bring it into Photoshop we're gonna apply some nice effects and this is the final outcome of this tutorial so the first thing we're gonna do is just hop into Illustrator and we're gonna grab our badge but the first thing we need to make sure is that we remove any white that's in the badge because then it'll just fill it in in Photoshop and we don't want that. So a really easy way to get rid of white is just hitting Y on your keyboard and this activates your magic wand tool in Illustrator and just click any area that's white and that will select any white that's in your entire document and then you can just hit delete or backspace and now that that's gone I can rubber band select my entire badge command C or control C on a PC to copy it and then come into Photoshop and we're gonna create a new document by going file new and we're gonna make this nice and big so you can see it on screen so my width is gonna be 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels I'm gonna keep it at 300 for our resolution I'm going to change my color mode to RGB so it stays nice and vibrant so you can see it really well on screen and I'm gonna hit OK and the first thing I'm gonna do is paste my vector badge in so I'm gonna hit command V or control V on a PC make sure you paste it in as a smart object that'll make it so no matter how big or how small you need to scale it it's always gonna stay super crisp and look great on screen or in print so hit OK and now I'm gonna hold shift and alt and that will scale it proportionally from the center so that's looking pretty good and the next thing we're going to do is just set a background texture so it looks like it's on paper so when we apply all of our effects it'll look like it's actually pressing into the paper and that it's burned into the paper so we're going to double click on our background layer right here to unlock it and just hit OK and then double click one more time to bring up your layer styles now I'm going to click on pattern overlay and I'm going to use the concrete texture uh, handmade paper texture right here and I'll leave a link to this too if you want to pick it up and I'm just gonna reduce the scale here to 50% so now we've got a nice looking realistic paper texture set behind our badge so I'm gonna hit OK next I'm gonna double click on our badge layer and this is where all the fun happens so we're gonna go to pattern overlay and we're gonna choose the foil texture that we want right here it's defaulting to the hot foil texture out of the glitz and glam kit or one that you've created in metallic magic or you can definitely feel free to use the free texture okay so next uh, I'm just gonna keep the scale at hundred percent because this is a fairly large document if your document is smaller just reduce your scale by 25 percent increments and that'll keep it really nice and crisp so if it's looking a little too big just reduce it 75 percent 50 percent 25 percent and you'll find something that you like within that range okay so the next thing we need to do is click on inner shadow because this is what's really gonna make it look like it's pressing right into the paper so over here we want to keep our blend mode at multiply but we want to change whatever the default color is right here for me it's this light gray so all I'm gonna do is click on this color and I'm going to choose a dark gray almost black color and you can see right here immediately you can notice how it's starting to press into the paper and hit OK so next uh, we want to keep our opacity set at 75% global light is totally fine this will keep all of the effects that we apply to this very consistent with the direction that they're coming from so definitely make sure this is all looking like this and next we're going to reduce our distance to three pixels but we're going to increase our size to 11 pixels so the drop shadow will be coming from the very edge right here in a very small amount but it will spread much larger which is why we have a larger size so I'm going to change this to 11 and you can see already it's starting to look more like an impression than just a little inset darkened area which is really important for our foil stamp so the next thing we're going to do is set in an outer glow and typically an outer glow is very light in color because it's glowing but for this we want it to look like it's burned and in order to do that we need to change our blend mode to color burn and you're going to notice right away once we change this color 
the burn effect that's going to be happening. So we're just gonna click on this color and once again, choose a dark gray, almost black color, hit okay. And now we just need to increase the size. So our size is going to be 15 pixels for this. And you can see if I were to increase this even more, let's go to like 30. You can see it's really starting to burn into the paper, which is a nice effect when you're trying to make it look realistic. This seems like a little too much for me, so I'm gonna stick with 15 pixels here. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is apply satin effect. And the satin effect is what's really going to sell this as being a hot foil stamp. So I'm gonna click on this, and immediately you just saw it get darker, not much. So what you'll notice is going to happen is we're gonna get some nice texturing on top of our foil texture when we use the setting. So we wanna make sure our satin, I'm just gonna keep it set at normal right now so you can see what's happening, and then we'll change this blend mode at the end to soft light. So we need to change this to, once again, being a dark gray, almost black color, and you can see what's kind of happening here. It's a little offset and a little swirly in a few places. So we wanna make sure our opacity is at 50%, my angle is going to be 19 degrees. My distance is going to be four, or 11 pixels, and my size is 14 pixels. So the next big thing that we need to do is toggle down this little contour curve. And you can kind of click around and see how this curve really affects the outcome of the satin effect that we're putting on it. So it's pretty cool as you click around all the different settings that you can have. And I kind of decided to go with this one. I felt like it kind of brought out all of the edges the best for this effect, but it's obviously way too dark here, which is why we're gonna change our blend mode to soft light. And when we do that, it's subtle, but still very believable. You can see in a few areas over here where you're getting a nice shine that you wouldn't have gotten before if you hadn't applied the satin effect. Okay, so now that that's all set, we can hit OK, and there is our hot foil stamp effect in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. And be sure to check out the video description for links to everything that was used in this tutorial. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.